Jaeger was positive. I'm back. It's been a minute. But I have some information for you. It's going to benefit you all. Um, I just, you know, I'm always sitting. I'm always thinking. I'm always processing information, seeking to understand, to be understood. And what I've come to realize in the last eight months to a year is, and I read a few books as well, um, it's the power of femininity, the power of feminine energy. And so when I mean by feminine energy, when you think feminine, what do you think? You think female, you think women, you think girl, you think soft, you think, you know, it's less, it's not forceful, it's loving, it's nice, it's positive. So, and I realized this because... After reading two books, The Male Brain and The Female Brain, I got some more information on people. And I realized, you know, women, because they have, you know, innately, they're feminine and feminine energy, are the most powerful humans on planet. You know, women do run the world. Um, they're the strongest people in the world. Because uh, if you know women get that menstrual, menstrual cycle, the period once a month, um, that's intense from what I hear. I don't really have that experience. Um, uh, they can have kids. So they literally can have someone living inside of them and they push out. And so what that means is their pain threshold is higher. Um, they're naturally selfless. So they're always putting everybody else first. Um, so they release their emotions all the time. You know, and so they're not like men. We hold our emotions in. We don't release the truth. They're letting it out. They might, you know, the hormones are crazy. Whatever. Women are powerful because they can put up with so much. They have a higher pain threshold. They can have kids. They know how to multitask. They're they 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 they're, they're feminine. They they nurture. They take care. They provide. They love. And so what I've come to realize is that feminine energy is the most powerful energy in the universe. And what I mean by that is that. Love is feminine. Nature is feminine. Uh, words, words, you know, nice words, beautiful words, words are feminine. Um, God, God is feminine, you know. It's, it's a feminine, powerful force. Now, you don't got to correlate it to a, a being. I'm talking about energy. Let's talk about energy, like not, you know, literally people. But anyway, that's power in that. So as a man, I realize... Feminine energy in my life is necessary and it's needed in everybody's life. Let's be clear here. You know, and what I realize is behind every successful man I know, they have nothing but women working for them. Women are helping them run their business. Women are helping them get to the next level. Because be behind every successful man, there lies a woman. Feminine. Um, creativity. Your creativity, your geniuses, your, your genius side, that's created out of feminine energy, not masculine energy. I actually read a book, I think it was The uh, Psychology of Masculinity, and it talked about when you're in your genius you know, state or your creativity state, that's feminine. You're in a feminine state. You get those thoughts and ideals from a feminine energy, not a masculine energy. And it, masculine energy is more forceful, more powerful, more protective, more provide, you know. Feminine energy is loving, caressing, beautiful, nice, easy, peace, positive. So I think if we can understand the power of feminine energy, we will embrace it more and we will get more from it. And to all my guys out there, women as well, but once you understand the power of a woman, of, of a female, of, of femininity, you can have more in your life that you want. Because, and some of you guys might know this, I'm just learning this. I'm on the back end of it. And so women are strong. They're the most strongest creatures on the earth. And we have, to, we have to empower them. We have to uplift them. We have to motivate them. We have to encourage them. We have to be by their side. Because there's a lot of women out here taking on the roles of men. And they're doing all the work. They're sacrificing. They're providing. They're living. They're loving. and caring. They need help. And so what happens is their feminine energy becomes you know, tainted, and then they start moving in their masculine energy. And we don't want that because both energy serves a purpose. Now, you can have masculine energy and be feminine. You can have feminine energy and be masculine, but you want to serve its purpose. So, men, we got to bring that masculine energy for the feminine energy, but we also got to help 
and support our women and give them their just due and give them the love they need and give them support and give them everything they're asked for. And women, you have to understand this about yourself because I think women don't understand the power of their feminine energy. And some do because they just give it away and won't even understand what it's doing. Your feminine energy is powerful. You know, if I if I go outside right now in a beautiful, beautiful woman, beautiful girl or whatever, attra attractive female or whatever, body, whatever, you know her energy can, can knock me off my focus because his energy is powerful. That's how powerful women are. You can really take a guy out of his focus, you know, sometimes. And we don't even be trying because your feminine energy is so strong. And it's powerful. Spirituality, it's feminine. It's not masculine. So, if you have any questions, please ask. Drop a comment. Um, but yeah, feminine energy. We got to understand it. Women, you got to understand the power of it. And some women are more in that masculine energy. And they got to switch into their feminine energy. And then men, we also got to understand that it's okay to be in our feminine energy. And so for me, I got to be more of my feminine energy when I'm dealing with women. Because I have to be more vulnerable. You know, I'm so strong and driven and motivating and loving and, you know, and it's like, but I have to be vulnerable. And being vulnerable is in speaking my truth, um, asking for help, um, just being vulnerable. You know, and sometimes guys, we have so much pride in our guard that we don't want to be vulnerable because we think someone is going to talk bad on us and we're going to seem weak. Like, no, when you're in your feminine energy, you're not weak. You're just not as aggressive. You're more submissive. You're more submitting yourself. You're more releasing your vulnerability, letting go. So that's it. Uh, hopefully you can take some good points from this. Women, you're strong. Stay strong. But understand the power you hold because women run the world. And women will continue to run the world because feminine energy. Why do you think... You were chosen to have a kid that you can put that a kid can come out of you. It's because you're the strongest. So know that, understand that, believe that. Feminine energy is necessary for the creation and the evolution of life, and we need it. So guys, motivate these women, help them, help you, help us, help everyone. Women, understand the power of your energy that it holds. I can talk all day. Drop a question. Drop a comment. Let's eat bigger, baby. Have a beautiful day. Let nothing stop you, not even yourself. Peace!